Hello content creators and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create double exposure videos like this to level up your YouTube channel intros or just use it for any of your video projects. I'm sure you're all familiar with double exposure photos, right? Basically, you just stack two images on top of each other and apply a certain blend mode. And little did you know, this technique can also be applied to videos. However, there are two, no actually three, three conditions in order for you to achieve this effect. Number one, you need a video clip with the subject on a white background. Number two, a colorful background photo or video. And number three, a very compelling background music. No, I just made that one up. Oh, by the way, when choosing your backgrounds, I suggest using time lapses, hyperlapses, drone footage, or any videos with movement and color. One website that offers free download and no copyright issues is pexels.com. Just browse through their website and download free stock footage. Once you have gathered all of that, fire up Premiere Pro and let's get started. So I've already imported all the video clips for this project. And I've organized them into two folders. Subject, which is your main video, and background, which can be a bunch of photos or video clips. The first step that we need to do is set the in and out points of your main video. I'll just do a time lapse of this process so that you won't get bored. The next step is to drag these clips to video layer 2. And then we choose our background and place it below our main video clip. Let's use this JPEG image first and drag its right side to match the duration of the video above. Then we select the main clip, go to Lumetric Color and drag the saturation all the way to 0. Then we increase the exposure until the background turns into pure white and we adjust the rest of the settings to our own preference. On a side note, there is another way to desaturate our video clips. Select the clip, go to Effects tab, type black-white on the search box, then under Video Effects, Image Control, drag the black and white effect over the clip. And now it's desaturated. Now, while the main clip is selected, go to Effects Controls Panel, and under Blend Mode, select Screen. Ta-da! We've just made our first double exposure video. Let's play it. Not bad, right? We can adjust the size and position of the background to make sure it blends well with our main video clip. Let's have another look. Before we continue to the next clip, can you please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorial videos like this. Alright, let's move on. Now since we only have one main video clip, we can just copy the exposure adjustments we've made earlier and paste it on all of our clips. Right click the first clip, select copy, then right click on the second clip and select paste attributes. Make sure that the Lumetri color is checked. Now let's drag another background to our second clip. Let's use this one. The background's duration is longer than our main clip on top, so we can either trim it or adjust the speed to match it. I prefer the latter. Select the Rate Stretch tool right here and drag to the left until it matches the duration of the clip on top. Then select the main clip, go to Effects Controls, and change the Blend Mode to Screen. And we're done. Let's play it. Pretty cool, huh? Comment down below if you agree. Now let's copy the attributes on this clip and then highlight the rest. Then right click and select Paste Attributes and click OK. 
Now all of the clips have the same exposure and the saturated look. We can then continue to add backgrounds below our main clips. Just don't forget to change the blend mode of the main clips to screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the music while I do a time lapse of this process. And this is my final video sequence. Check it out! Wasn't that cool or what? You can also play around with the other blend modes and just let your creativity flow. Try this color burn. Overlay. Exclusion. Or subtract. And you can also use this double exposure effect for product commercials, music videos, and other creative projects. So go ahead and try this cool effect to your videos and tag me so I can see your work. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and click on the bell icon below. Thank you for watching.